I teach cycling and yoga. Um, I teach group strength plus core. I teach cycling, yoga, and I'm learning barbell. I got involved with group fitness by going to cycling classes first, last school year, and I really fell in love with cycling, so I wanted to be an instructor because of how much I loved it. Um, I got involved in group fitness because I came to a lot of classes like the semester before I started working here, and yeah. My favorite class to teach is cycling because it pushes me out of my comfort zone, and it is more of a difficult class to teach, but that's why I like it. My favorite class to take is barbell because there's so many different things that you can do with the equipment that you're given, and I just like the how you can like strength train with all those different things. My favorite class to take and also teach is cycling. I just like the high intensity of it and how it really challenges me and it's out of my comfort zone. I keep others motivated by encouraging them but also pushing them to be the best that they can be. Um, I motivate others by like asking them like questions of like remember why you came today or like what do you want to get out of today's class and like just keep encouraging them to like keep going because like everyone came for a reason. I motivate others by being welcoming and realize that anyone can start any group fitness class. They can come as they are, make the class their own, and that's how I motivate them. Group fitness has impacted me outside the studio because I have learned so many different things about myself. I am more confident within myself and just growing as a person in general. Group fitness has impacted my life. It's just made me like more confident in general and like um, more like yeah, confident in myself and being able to talk in front of people, those are two of the biggest things. Group fitness has impacted my life by gaining me a lot of confidence I didn't know I needed and I just feel like I hold myself a lot higher and I just have more confidence overall. I wish someone told me when I started to just be to just be confident within myself that I can do it and I have what it takes and that my best is enough. Um, I wish someone would have told me to not compare myself to other instructors because you have your own way of teaching and like helping other people learn and that's perfectly fine. I wish someone would tell me to be patient and enjoy the process. Um, the best advice someone has given me as an instructor is just like it's okay to make mistakes and like the members aren't going to hold it against you if you make a mistake and it's okay to accept those mistakes. Other instructors have given me advice to be confident in myself and trust what I'm doing because I know what I'm doing, so just be confident in that and trusting myself. Advice that I have for new instructors is just to do your best, give it everything you got, work hard, and the results will pay off in the end. Um, the advice I would have to give them is, like I said before, just not comparing yourself and doing it your own way and knowing that like it's going to get better eventually and it's just really awkward at first, but you can get over it. I would give advice to be um, confident, give it all, their all, and enjoy the process. I do plan on teaching and taking classes outside of college. It benefits my life in so many ways, so with all those benefits, I will continue to take classes. Yes, I plan on taking classes. I just love staying fit and like being, and doing that daily in my life. It's really important. Yes, I hope to continue my group fitness journey outside of college.